Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Welcome back, everyone. So we get, I ask all the time, for questions on our Facebook page, we do the best we can to try to address those as they come in. And here's one here. This is from Brad. He says, I need to purchase an autopilot system uh, for my outboard motor. Any recommendations? So it doesn't really get specific here when he's talking about outboard motor. Is he talking about his main motor or is he talking about his kicker? So I'm going to take it as he's talking about his kicker, which is where nine out of 10 autopilots go. Now, that being said, if you are a saltwater person and you want an autopilot on your main motor, you can absolutely do it. And I have zero association with them. I have no connection whatsoever, but I would recommend Garmin. Uh, now, there are other options that are out there, but Garmin's been building an autopilot for a main motor set setup for a very long time, uh, and I trust them. Uh, that's the stuff that I typically put into my sleds. But talking about a kicker autopilot, It'd be the RK40, okay? Uh, that is what has replaced um, the TR1 system from Garmin, uh, and it is by far the best setup that I've ever seen. Now, I'll admit, I've had several boats with RK40. Jeez. Was my fourth one? Third one. No, fourth one. So the fourth one with an RK40 on it. In the beginning, when they made that transfer uh, from the, the TR1 to the RK40, I'll admit there were some issues. Uh, they've worked all those out. Uh, on my current boat, which is a, a year or so old now, I haven't had any issues other than user error. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. So, uh, again, Brad, I would look into the RK40. There's a number of places that you can find it. Um, I, I guess the first place that I would call would be Portland Marine Electronics. Uh, again, one of our previous sponsors here, uh, but I love Pat. So uh, if you have that opportunity, I'd reach out to him. And it's less expensive than what the TR1 was back in the day, believe it or not. And it is a significantly better setup by a long shot. And I love the remote. No wires, and it works perfectly. Uh, okay, this is from Richard. Where does all the grass in the Columbia come from? <laughs> really? Well, okay. Uh, there's a thing called ph photo... What did you say? Photosynthesis? Something like that? <laughs> It's just the grass growing on all the shallows that are in the, in the Columbia. This time of year, the river is very, very low, and when the water gets warm and it gets shallow like it is now, those reeds and grasses, all, and there's a number of different types that are in the Columbia system, they just get a chance to grow, right? And then you start getting these tall tides that we have, and when that tide turns, it lives, lifts all that grass up as it, on a high tide, and when it turns to go out, it flat out rips a bunch of it off, and there's no shortage of it. So in the past, I have mentioned that there are ways, and it just comes with experience, uh, in specific zones that you might spend your time on the river, where you can find spots that aren't going to be as grassy. And you're going to find spots that, based on what that tide's going to do, are nearly impossible to fish. So you just got to kind of move around. If you get into an area uh, and wherever you happen to be. Uh, if there's some shallows that are upriver of you, and I'm thinking of a very specific river mouth in a very specific area across from a very specific boat launch, uh, that gets really grassy. So that's where it comes from. It's just a lot of different grasses, low water, warm water, and they get a chance to grow and it just gets ripped off. And it is extremely frustrating, trust me. I yell at it the entire time. Greg, uh, he asks, what's your favorite reel for steelhead fishing on the bank? Uh, well, okay, Greg, I, I guess if I were to neck it down, I'm a bait caster, okay? I grew up uh, using a bait caster my whole life um, from way back in the day. If I'll, I'll say it this way. My favorite bait caster currently is the Revo Rocket from uh, Abu Garcia. Longtime sponsor here, unfortunately, not anymore. They don't do that kind of stuff, apparently. Uh, it is by far my favorite bait caster, uh, and I've got a few others from different manufacturers that are extremely nice. But for the price point, 10 to 1 retrieve, uh, drag, phenomenal drag, uh, the Abu Garcia Revo Rocket bait caster is by far my favorite bait caster that I've maybe ever used, except for uh, the digitally controlled Shimano, uh, which is an unbelievable reel if you're not throwing spinners. Uh, but that's the bait caster that I would go after. And 
just another the other side of that now that we're using spinning reels i'm using at least uh spinning reels the last decade or more a lot more because of the way that we're fishing bobber dogging and, and free drifting and other things um if i were to say my spinning reel and by no means do you have to have one like this but uh, the, the stella uh, i don't even need to mention who makes it but the stella is by far the best spinning reel in my opinion freshwater wise money can buy now do you have to have something like that 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 extreme no uh, but i guess i could say it. Any, anything in that stratic line uh vanford line um or stella which is their flagship reel you can't go wrong with a a, a shimano product now the uh, Revo rocket line from abu garcia is extremely nice but when you get up into that upper level of some of the Shimano reels and even Dioa, for crying out loud, I don't have very much, if any, uh, um, experience with Dioa uh, personally. Uh, but they make some very nice reels that folks are just as dedicated to as folks that are dedicated to either Abu or Shimano. But it'd be a Re Revo Rocket uh, baitcaster for me. And if it's a spinning reel, I'm, using, I'm, I'm throwing a Stella. I'm just that it's just that important to me, uh, but there's a lot of different versions. So hopefully that answers your question uh, in some way. All right, we're gonna cut to a break. When we come back, we're gonna have those Pike Middle reward number number numbers for you. Uh, if you've been participating uh, in this fishery, one thank you, but we're gonna let you know where you need to be this upcoming week.